All right, guys, this is it for Bus versus Fangji. We are in game number three. The winner here moves in to that top four. Uh, and, I mean, that's already got a Protoss player as well as a couple of Zergs. So Bus would add some nice balance there. I'm not going to lie. Look, I'm not biased for Terran. Uh, well, maybe a little bit, but... Uh, yeah, I would like to see him move forward, but Fengji showing that he is capable of absolutely killing you if you screw up. So, uh, it's a strong play there. I think both these players have shown very strong games. Uh, Bus in game one and Fengji in game two. Now we're on Vermeer and we're cross spawn. So, Vermeer is quite a big map. Uh, it can be a little bit hard to play longer games against Zerg here just because. Uh, there's a lot of expansions. They're all kind of on the edge, not not really towards the center at all. So the travel distance to everything is kind of far. So, yeah, the mobility of Zerg, Nidus, that type of thing can make it a little bit difficult. Now, Bus does the forward eight racks here once again. Don't forget, Fengji in the previous game, uh, Monopoly is closer spawns than cross spawn on Vermeer. But in the previous game, uh, Fengji actually held it very, very well. He ended up losing a third drone that it didn't feel like he needed to lose that third drone. It felt like he could have gone with just two. But yeah, he, he punished really hard afterwards. Like he just, he got his economy really rolling. So is Bus going to be able to, with a further rush distance, make this work? Now, it could be a different type as well. We're going to see in the next 10 seconds if he's going to go for the... Uh, factory variant but normally when you see the depot down here making a wall a lot of the times it's just going to be expansion after the eight racks all right so yeah it is going to be expansion after eight racks the two scvs going out to scout it is hatchery first for fengji so that's good for bus that's what he's looking for wants to punish that second depot going down in the main base he can just make the third over here a little bit later and you know uh much to Bus's sadness, he's going to find that Fengji is actually in the bottom left. I'm actually surprised he goes up into the main. Like, you don't even actually have to. <laughs> as soon as you don't see a natural at this time, hey, they're cross-spawn. Okay, here we go. Marines walking across the map. Fengji doesn't know. He's going to know now. As he sees this SCV coming from this side, now he knows two SCVs are on the map, and generally when they come like that uh you're gonna be like oh, okay this looks to me to be uh an eight racks so here come the drones six drones coming out to micro look at this SUV. he comes down tries to slow everything a little bit backs away from his bunker you don't want to overcommit to that right now again you're looking for drone kills this generally does not get the hatchery zoom out a little bit see this micro can things you do it once again Got the ringleader drone there with the minerals in his mouth. Three marines. That's tough. He's got to back up. So the bunker is going to get down, but he is making a creep colony. Morling's coming out. you got to get this creep colony finished. Very, very important. Ooh, he's putting some very good damage down onto it. All right, pushing those marines back a little bit. Oh, this is becoming a really big issue right now. More marines coming. No SCVs or anything sent down, so it's just what he's got. Pops him into this bunker. Oh, my God. Fengji in some real trouble. The double bunker is a huge issue. Now, the bunker is firing on the hatchery, so that's actually a very good thing for him. Here we go. The SCV's coming back to repair. You've got to target those SCV's down. Well, he just decides to go for the actual bunker itself, and I guess it does end up working. He pops that bunker, and now the sunken is in range of the bunker, and the bunker is not in range of anything, so... That's looking pretty good for Fengji overall, but he did take more damage here than what he wanted. He had to make a lot of lings. He had to make the sunken. And back behind this, Bus is expanding. He's up eight workers. That's like, look, 19 to 11. That's not just eight workers. That's that's pain is what that is. This Marine just kind of scouting to see if anything's down there. Oh, God. This is just lings being made. He's just going to run speedlings by. That's what's going on. You know what? There, he can make a Zergling tight wall. If he makes a depot here and floats this back before the speedlings get over, this game is all but done, I would say. Like, I mean, okay, here we go. He comes up, and he's going to surround the bunker. So he just wants the bunker out of here for now. Okay, but the speedlings don't have any real potential anymore. Like, he's going to have this bunker done. He's going to have plenty of Marines. Some more SCVs are coming down that can help block if need be. 
And he is droning. Okay, so Fengji is going to get his economy rolling, but this is a much worse opener than he had on Monopoly the previous map. Like, he blocked the uh, eight racks a lot better. Here, I mean, you're going to force a lift. Who cares? He's He's got this beautifully placed bunker. There's plenty of surface area that's blocked off, so the Lings don't have any chance of killing it. They can't really run by either. Even if you get around the command center, there's plenty of time for him to pull SCVs over and block the ramp. And then the bunker is going to be hitting most of the lings trying to go up the ramp anyway. So yeah, very, very messy situation here for Fengji. How does he fight back? Okay, Spire gets started. Drone leaving, so clearly for a third base. Where does he go for the third, I wonder? Maybe hiding it? Like somewhere like this? Like honestly, somewhere like here might be a really great location. Is he just going to go to the top left? That's Now, the top left, that's like a normal spot. But I almost feel like you want to take a risk here. Uh, I think... Well, we'll see. We'll see what his mutas do, really. That's, that's I guess, what we're going to be waiting for. Because that's going to decide so much of what Bus is able to do on the map. But I could see Bus really pressuring hard. Uh, and, you know, possibly even forcing a cancel on that third base on its kind of close-by location. All right, this is, Ling does get a full scout. He sees the three racks. He sees the uh, academy. He sees the timing of the engineering bay as well. And the timing is actually, like, perfect on that engineering bay. Very well done by Bus. Not exactly sure how he read this situation correctly to get that because he didn't actually see the layer timing or the spire timing. But because it's cross spawn, he should have the turrets up, like, exactly before the mutas get there. Okay. Bus popping out three medics now. He's going to have his range. He can actually walk out with his bio at this at this point. Five meters being made. Plus one gets started immediately. Factory gets started. Wow, he is just cutting every single corner. Factory even before those turrets. Gets the scans down. He's going to see the spire, so definitely needs to start his turrets. There they go. And Bus going to get mobile now. He's about to have that range upgrade. Muta's coming across the map. All right, let's see what Fengji can do. Oh, running around. Okay, going to threaten a little bit of a counterattack. Marine's in that bunker. He just runs up. Oh, he might dive on the turret. Ooh, takes a fair amount of damage, actually. Unfortunately, the two Ling's going to attack the turret, but honestly not getting much done. I guess he's slowing Bus from really moving anywhere on the map. Like, Bus was already kind of out here. So, like like I mentioned before, right? Like, what if he had continued to pressure towards top left? So, Fengshi did buy himself some time in that regard. Getting more mutas, flying them up across the map. Nothing else really going on other than plus one attack on the way. And, ooh, just barely not. Oh, oh my god, one hit left on this Overlord, and it makes it out of there. Oh, that was a great glaive right there. He's using this terrain beautifully. The Marines can't see up here, right? This type of wall, they absolutely cannot see up. So what he did is he went close, and I believe that was the hold position attack that just made the glaive spray. It deals a lot of damage. Uh, but it does make you get closer to the Marines. But if they can't see you, who cares? All right, now going after these turrets. Backs up for now. Bus going out onto the map with quite a few, uh, quite a few Marines. And it looks like we're going to have Valkyries coming out of Bus. Obviously, Valkyries going to be very, very strong against the Mass Muta. This, I mean, there's a whole group of uh, mutas here for Fengji, so I do think Bus should be turning around. This is not that many Marines. It's like 16 Marines and 3 Medics, which can fight for a second, but this, the group of mutas will eventually kill it all. All right, a Firebat scouting bottom right. Finds not there. Oh, Fengji having a hard time actually connecting with these glaives.
Hive is on the way. There's that Hydralis Den. Likes, likes hiding that as third base. I think Bus still doesn't know the location of the third. There are so many spots that could be taken. And honestly, he's out microing Bengji right now. We've heard like three Mutas die, and we went from 16 Marines down to nine. So, I mean, seven Marines for, for like three Mutas is a great deal for Terran. You're going to be very happy with that, especially if you don't lose the whole army. Now, here comes reinforcements as well, so it's going to get harder for Fengji. Also, not that many drones. He's on 26. Well, Bus kills one of his own Marines. Okay. Full group of Mutas here. Seeing what it can get done. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot, unfortunately. And here comes the Valkyrie. Oh, God. This is where Bus starts to gain a bit of control. Now, his Marine count is actually very, very low. I'd love to see just a few more Marines out there. He'd be doing uh, a lot better with that. Valkyrie goes way ahead of everything. Here come those Mutas now. Oh, but with the Valkyrie, what do you do here? He's already got a lot of bruised Mutas as well. Oh, lots of Sunkins coming up. Very nice save here by Fengji. I think that's going to just keep the base mostly alive. You do maybe have potential to run around. But if you run around, like, eventually you're going to lose the army. Okay, he dives on the Sunks. I don't think that's the right play. Yeah, a few Lings come out as well, and that does get pushed back immediately. In the meantime, Fengji coming up with a bunch of Speedlings. Some Scourge as well to try to take out these Valkyries and his Mutas. Now, can he crush this force? Here we go, flying up the ramp. Little scan goes down there from Bus. All right, moving forward. And he just dives on top of everything. The Valkyrie's getting multiple volleys off, so the Mutas have taken a huge amount of damage. He does clear everything, but the Mutas are not going to be useful for a while. Look at this. We have a lot of Mutas at around this health, like 9, 10 health. That just dies instantly. So I think you've got to put the Mutas somewhere and just let them sit for a bit. Now, they do not heal that quickly. So, yeah... It, it feels like that was a little bit off. Like, the Scourge should have come in a bit quicker. Even one less uh, Valkyrie volley from each would have been huge. All right, getting up to a lot of barracks. What is this? Three, four, five, six, seven racks on two base? Not something you see very often. Normally, about six is as high as Terrans will go before taking a third. But I like he's going to keep that pressure up. The Radiate went down. Mutalisk Flock being further devastated. Greater Spire is coming. So I guess that's one way to hurt use your hurt mutas, right? Like you just set up some guardians. Uh, now, normally you use guardians to harass the natural, but I have like I have seen Zergs from time to time use them defensively. Like with Sunkins, they're actually quite fantastic. Like you just you can't really hit them, and they deal a lot of damage. They they do end up two shotting marines. You know they get the. 20 damage plus the uh, plus two for every attack upgrade, which I believe the Mutas do have a single attack upgrade right now. Now, Bus moving up this ramp, a ton of Marines and Medics. This defense is really good, though. Like, he's going to bring another Lurker down. He's going to have another Lurker here. He does have the Nidus that more can come out of. Okay, another Radiate. Very nice. Definitely need to keep fielding those Lurkers. Four Sunkins, like these Marines will kill four Sunkins easily. The Lings as well. You need at least a couple Lurkers ready. Oh, he's going to go. Oh, Burrow, Burrow, Burrow. Get back there, Burrow. Okay, he's going to target that down really quickly. Gets one, one spine out, a couple, but not really that much damage from them, unfortunately. Okay, the Defilers come through, but they don't have the energy. Oh, no. It looks like Bus is going to splatter everything here. If he had a Dark Storm there, everything would have looked so different. But now everything irradiated and more bio coming up now as well. Fengji looks like he's going to lose his third base and maybe with it the game. Doesn't have a lot going on. Plague is coming up, but if you lose the third, like you can't play two base against two base against, against Terran. Absolutely not. Not for long at least. Okay, looks like he will catch... Uh, looks oh this was actually a very smart move look at this the guardians tried to come over to help and he had a couple guardians actually more harassing here so the vessels came over but he had scourge in the path so kills a couple vessels some good tactical moves coming up from fengji but it it does feel like it's too little too late at this point 
Consume is done. Plague on the way. A lot of vessels coming out of bus. He's got 59 SCVs. Third command center is done. Another Rax. I don't even know how he has the money for all this. I mean, his SCV count is pretty nuts right now. 2-1 upgrades are done as well. And it, right now we see Fengji just kind of splitting the Guardians off because he knows that Irradiate has to be used. So force three Irradiates if possible. Or we walk him into turrets. That works too. Now, what is Fengji's next plan? I feel like, I feel like he's got to do so, like plague is not even going to do it at this point. I think in this type of situation, what you have to do is like a counter all in type of play, where the bio maybe moves out and then maybe you move in and dark swarm on top of the racks, something like that, where it doesn't matter how much bio they have, they can't get up. But the amount of vessels. That bus has? It seems impossible. He's added fire bats as well, so it's going to be hard if you don't have, like, mass lurker under the dark storm because the fire bats can hit him. I like the double bunker. I like the amount of fire bats. Dude, it's it's over, man. Like, seriously. Fengji just doesn't... He doesn't have enough. There's nothing he can make happen. The, the force is just so large from bus. Firebats galore. He's got double bunker at this third base location. Look, there, here is the counterattack that he wants to do, but Vessels just flew past it. All he has to do is just throw down a couple spells, run around with his army. Looks like the, the Vessels are being pretty pretty sloppy. Loses two on the way over. Comes up and, well, doesn't get a lot done there, but he sees it. <laughs> and that's, that's the most important thing. All right, looks like we should get a plague down. A decent plague. But the Irradiate's making this just that much harder on Fengji. He really doesn't have enough to hold on at this point. He's got like three Lurkers burrowed. Ooh, that's actually a very good stack. That did not look stacked to me. I actually thought that was one. All right, Bus maybe trying to come in for the kill at this point. Another base going up for Fengji. He's hoping against hope that he can hold on here. He's down 100 supply at the moment, though. And the Dark Storm goes down. Yeah, I mean, with the spells, you can buy a little bit of time. Radiates, though, as well as Fire Bats coming down. All right, looks like he's going to chop down this Nidus Canal. Very good pickoff always, although that one wasn't really going anywhere yet. The Lurker's trying to lure the Marines back into the Dark Swarm. Doesn't look like, that, look like that's working right now. We do run up to that already existing Dark Swarm. The Radiate goes down. Fireback comes in from the side, adding a bit of damage here. And, well, a Radiate going to rule the day. It looks like Bus going to advance. Really no chance for Fengji. His supply well below 70, which is what I'm always saying is like 70 is where you barely hold on. <laughs> GG, Bus advances to the round of four.